right guys, welcome back to Odd Vlogs. And today we are in the Grand Canyon on our senior road trip. Woo! Whoa, that echoed. <laughs> and this is part two of the road trip. This is the afternoon because we spent all day driving from Arches. So if you haven't checked out that video, be sure to. He's so cute. why your fingers go numb after touching an octopus, tell me. Whoa, that's so cool. What are these like random holes in the rocks though? We found Gretel. Link in the description box below, but look at what we're looking at. This is so crazy. This is the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Holy cow. It like goes super like steep and so deep. And there's a bunch of like horse poop on the ground. So we have to be careful not to get too close to the ledge, but also don't step in the horse poop. But yeah, it's so cool. I'm sorry, mom, but this is the trail we're headed down. <laughs> it's a windy trail down to the bottom of this. <laughs> that looks a little scary, but adventure! We're scholars and we're smart and safe. And we're adventurers. <laughs> and yeah, so scholars there, we're scholars. scholars. <laughs> adventures in the summer. <laughs> yeah! We found our first sign of wildlife, a little squirrel friend. <laughs> and it's so close to the trail. Like this is us, this is the squirrel. And it's eating the flowers. <laughs> Aw, goodbye. Okay guys, we are lost. So we finished our hike and now we're trying to find the plaza to get oranges or food or something. And I think we got off at the wrong point and we're lost. So we're just traveling on by. And Ellie's gonna be our map person. And if we don't find an orange, then I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Cause that's what we want the whole trip. Uh, we'll keep you updated. Okay, we're getting back on the bus that dropped us off because <laughs> we need an orange. I hope this takes us to the right place. Okay, you guys, so we almost got on the bus and we asked the bus driver where the plaza was. They pointed right across the street, so we didn't get on the bus and we're like, oh, sorry, we didn't see that. And he's like, well, your girl <laughs> was roasted. roasted. Wow, thanks a lot. <laughs> we found the store. Yes. Yay! Okay, everyone look for the orange. If there is no orange, <laughs> oh, wait, there's carrots, Lily. But there's no orange. Are you kidding me? There's not one orange in this entire produce section. They have lemons, they have apples, they have cherry tomatoes. Wait. <gasps> oh, wait. <laughs> right next to the tree. Yes, we got it. I think that we should just mission accomplished. Yeah. Okay, you guys, we found our oranges. And mine looks really crazy because I just want to rip open into it, but it's so yummy. And we got some sandwiches, which are probably the healthiest thing that we ate this whole trip because we've been mostly just eating like snacks Doritos. and candy and Doritos. And it tastes so good, probably because we're hungry, but it, yeah. That's the highlight of the day. So that'll be the end of today. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for part two of the Grand Canyon. You can just see the stars a little. There's one. Are you recording? <laughs> yeah, I'll see if I can see the stars. Look at you guys. Okay. Can you see like, oh, hello, people. <laughs> There's stars. They're on fire. <laughs> All right, you guys. So it's day number two of the Grand Canyon, and it's about. 11 a.m. and we're on our first hike called Pima Point and there's actually a river down here which I did not think there'd be a river at the bottom of the Grand Canyon but if you can see right there that's where it's at so this is so cool this is like a little lookout place and we're gonna go on this trail that goes all the way down so we're gonna hit a lot of stops around along the way 
and get some sights in. <laughs> but yeah, it's so cool. Like everywhere you go, it doesn't get boring at all. Like, even though it kind of looks the same, but it's all like Okay, you guys, we're hiking on this sketchy trail. Like, oh <laughs> my gosh. Like, there's like a foot here where you can stand or else you die. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah! I'm trying to be a good person and follow the rules, and everyone wants to go on the edge, and I'm not. So, it's right, fine. Oh. <laughs> they need to have railings or something. They're just asking for people to slip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it doesn't get any better. You gotta go slow. <laughs> Melissa, stop. Uh, okay, you guys, so we're hiking and we're not by the edge anymore. We're like in the middle of a forest. It's super cool. <laughs> but the downside is that there's literally flies everywhere. Like, and they won't go away. I don't know if you can hear them, but they've. Ah, there's one on the camera. They've been following us for the past. Forever, <laughs> and they won't go away. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. We haven't run into anyone on this little trail, and it's mostly shaded, but flies are so annoying. Yeah, we're just hiking this little trail. It's time for an episode of Dangers of the Wildlife. <laughs> so, say you're hiking along the trail. And I trip over a stick or fly lands on me, and you veer off to the side, and boom, cactuses! They're everywhere along this path, and I don't know, I feel like one of us has almost fallen into one. Yeah, I think I almost fell into one. Because they get literally so close to the trail, and if you're not looking, if you're not constantly looking at the ground, you're either gonna fall off the cliff or you're gonna end up in cactuses and then fall off the cliff. <laughs> so, yeah, ouch, pain. But the flies, I feel like the flies are going away. I don't know, nope, I just heard one. Never mind. Now for another episode of Lost. <laughs> so we found the Grand Canyon. We're not really, well, okay. Here's the deal. <laughs> we see the Grand Canyon, but we're also trapped in the forest. And we were on the trail, and then the trail ended going down to the Grand Canyon. We, have we could have, I don't know. We don't know where the trail's at, so we're just kind of wandering and making our own trail. <laughs> yeah, so I don't even know what our plan is. We need to go to the bathroom, we need to put on more sunblock, we need more water. <laughs> this is, this is. We're the only people here. <laughs> this is, a, no civilization has been found. Um, did you find one, Melissa? Well, we're gonna follow you. Okay guys, right road or left? <laughs> right? Which way? <laughs> um, I don't know. Cause they can literally go anywhere. They can go back, they can... I feel like on the map it said that like it went uphill to the next bus stop. It did. And we've been kind of going uphill, but maybe it just keeps going uphill. So should we go left? Or left? <laughs> we're going left. Okay. We're gonna get even towards the edge. Oh gosh. But then the right probably would have led us to more flies. Okay. Well, this doesn't. Does this look like a road? Is this still a trail? Just a bunch of rocks. <laughs> we just expect the path to be like a little bit lighter than the surrounding area, but is that necessarily true? We found a road and people. There's people here. Okay. Wait, do we need to go that way or this way? We found the road and the edge. So we found the bus and we ate lunch and now it's the afternoon and it actually feels like the perfect weather right now because it's all cloudy and it's trickling a little bit of rain and there's a lot of wind and the view is so pretty let me show you right here you can see the river perfectly it's like silver and whoa we hiked from all the way over there and we went around we've been just been like this is called the rim trail so we've just been following this trail along the edge of the Grand Canyon 
And what we were saying earlier is like, imagine the Grand Canyon full of water. It'd be like the ocean, like if the ocean is just like drained of all of its water, this is what it would look like. So, thought of the day. <laughs> all right, so we're done with our hikes and we're waiting to see the American Flute Show at the Hopi House, which is super cool. This is what the house looks like. And the doors are really low, but it's actually perfect height for me because I'm short. So <laughs> I don't even have to duck. But yeah, they sell like all these Native American things that they've made. But they're really expensive. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it was canceled. So we're gonna go back to the hotel and make some mac and cheese. And then we're gonna go in the hot tub. <laughs> We're gonna chill for the rest of the day because we're all super tired. But yeah, it was fun. Did you guys have fun hiking? Yeah, super fun. <laughs> it was it like- It rained a lot. It so rained, it yeah. It was like hot in the morning and then it went windy and then rainy. But it was also, it was kind of like the perfect hiking weather because we weren't sweating. So here we go. Let's go to the hotel and get some dinner. <laughs> Oh, okay, we're back at the hotel and we made some dinner mac and cheese. So what we did is we filled coffee cups with hot water and then we stuck the noodles in and the cheese powder and, and it worked. Now Hopefully. we're gonna try it for the first time. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Wait, we need salt. No one eats it with salt <laughs> besides me. Yeah. And in addition to that, we made our very own s'mores without a fire. We just stuck it in the microwave. So we're already prepared for college. <laughs> so that. You could do this in college all the time. It's true. Really Easy, quick meals for college students. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't checked out our arches video, be sure to click the box right here. And if you want to check out the next video of where we adventure in Zion, click the box right here. And subscribe if you haven't already. Turn from red to gray and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.